Salisbury, a quaint city in England, holds within its walls a secret treasure. Nestled in the heart of the city, in Britain's largest cathedral, close, lies an ancient clock tower. Hello everyone, today we're in Salisbury. We are going into the cathedral, having a look around, and then we are going all the way up there. The off-center spire has been dominating Salisbury's skyline since the 14th century. This is not the first cathedral to have been built in Salisbury, but the third one. The original one is referred to as Old Sarum and is one of the most unique and important sites in the south of England. Erected alongside the castle by William the Conqueror in 1075, it was moved to the current location after 300 years of disputes between the Sheriff of Wiltshire and the Bishop of Salisbury. Legend has it that Archer fired the arrow that hit a deer and where the deer died is where the cathedral was built. The perfect spot, or was it? The cathedral, now home to the Magna Carta and to the oldest working mechanical clock in the world, is built on top of a lake filled with gravel and fed by a stream. So whenever the stream dries up, the lake dries up too. If the gravel settles, the cathedral falls down. The level of water is checked by what is called a dipstick, which kind of sounds like an insult. Just lower it all the way down to the cross. That's it, take it all the way down, 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 There is the water level. Oh, that's yeah. it, yeah. So there is our groundwater. So that's our the water that's holding us up and there is our foundation. And for information on dipstick, I'm linking Paul Whitewick's video right below here. Go and check it out if you're interested. But after this one. Inside the cathedral, the second tallest in Europe is also home of the Magna Carta or I should say, one of the last four Magna Carta in existence, out of the original 250. Issued in Runnymede in 1215 and agreed to by King John, the Magna Carta granted rights and liberties to individuals through society, including the King. A lot of systems are built on the Magna Carta, including the Constitution of the United States. The cathedral is home to the oldest working mechanical clock in the world, without a dial. He wasn't used to tell the time, it was used to for the priests who had to celebrate Mass. So they say that this is the world's oldest working mechanical clock. It was made in 1386 or earlier. It was taken down in 1790 and then the clock was moved here and then restored in 1959. A miracle of engineering according to John our guide. He said that cogwheels, gravity, ratios, this is where our bicycles come from, this is our washing machine comes from. It was replaced by the clock up in the clock tower. To get to the top is 123 meters, 332 steps and it is of center because of its weight. See the bend in a perfect marble over here. It is caused by the weight of the clock tower. But why? The original structure was not meant to withstand the weight of the spire, which was added in 1315. And 
adding a weight of a whopping 6,500 tonnes. The central piers are taking in the entire load and you can see they're actually converging and you can tell that they're arching inwards. So Christopher Wren added some timber beams and four ceilings to support the tower. Okay, so look at the top of the original tower. That, that stonework is rubbish. And a lot more has been done to strengthen the tower. And put it through the hole, and I'll press your button after a man is speaking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Now. I don't think I can do it. Go on, go for it. <laughs> no, I'm too scared. Want me to do it? Can you come okay? So what am I doing? You're going through that hole. Oh my God. Yeah. No, not you, just your camera. Yeah, yeah, just the camera. Yeah. Okay. And then I can take a picture. Yeah. I can see all sarum from here. Oh my god, look at the capstone, it's straight. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give us a thumb up, and I shall see you in the next one. We are going international. Thanks for watching.